when I was young, before I was even playing drums, I was playing on pots and pans and Tupperware and uh, you name it with wooden spoons. As I got older, my mom noticed a trend towards me and music and she mentioned to my father that I might be a musician and he said he hoped not. My name is Frank Kensel. I'm in Lafayette, Louisiana and I make drumsticks. One day I saw the neighbors, they'd, they'd thrown out a, an old drum. So I went and asked them if I could have it and brought it in my little room up in the building that my dad had built and that was my studio. And I started playing on that like floor tom. And about three months into that, I was really, I, I wanted a bass drum. And so I asked my parents, can I have a bass drum pedal? Will you buy me a bass drum pedal? Well, how much do a bass, bass drum pedals cost? And they were about $100, $150. And they just couldn't do it. They couldn't swing it. And so one night my dad asked me, you wanna get up in the morning and uh, try to make a bass drum pedal? And I, sure. So he said, can you describe how it works? You have some pictures? And of course I had drum magazines. And so we went out to his little shop and we got out there about nine in the morning and we started bending flat iron and uh, I had a one by four for a bass drum foot pedal and was, we were getting close to finishing and he said, what are you gonna use to strike the bass drum head? And I'd been eyeing this old wooden four speed stick shifter knob that he had in this junk box. And I said, what about this stick shifter knob? And sure, and so I put it on there and, and I, I, we finished that thing and I, it had rubber bands for springs. I took it and I ran up in the in the barn and I put it on my on that little drum. They couldn't get me out of there to go eat dinner. I was playing drums. I had I finally had a little drum set. <laughs> my trade skill background is it stems from my father uh, mainly. Uh, every almost every Saturday Sunday there was a project around the house to do and anything from auto mechanics to uh, carpentry, you name it, we did it. He was well versed in carpentry from his father, my papa, who was a master carpenter in Crowley. His mentality was if you were gonna do it, you do it, you did it right the first time. It wasn't until maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago now, I started working at the drum center here in town and uh, I became the, the fixer at the drum center. If I couldn't fix it, it was ready for the garbage. After years and years of pushing the trade skills away, I was finally able to, to marry those two things that I, I grew up doing, and that was the trade skills and the music. One night I was up late just for giggles. I was looking on the internet for a lathe to make drumsticks. And I stumbled across this lathe and emailed the guy. We struck up a dialogue after a about a year of negotiation, this lathe that I'm now using to make drumsticks literally fell in my lap. It was a situation of if I didn't acquire it, it was going to the scrap pile. So I, I bit the bullet, I took the plunge, however you want to call it, and I, I had it shipped from New Hampshire and I started on the curve of learning how to make drumsticks. A lot of it I realized really quickly was that I could actually make a better quality product than the major manufacturers were making. Uh, I have drummers that are telling me that these sticks last three to four times longer than a major manufacturer's drumstick. The feel is good, the balance is good, uh, they play really nice. So I set out to essentially make a better product if I could. I think just through what, what I, through marrying my experience playing drums and my experience in the trades that I'm able to select lumber from a raw form and then bring it in the shop, mill it down into a usable square that I can actually make a good drumstick out of. 
when I'm working with a piece of wood or I'm working with a machine and I'm having difficulty with it or uh, especially you know, a lot of the time when I, I have a, a breakdown, I don't get bent out of shape. You know, I find that if you get upset, it just makes it worse. It compounds things. For years, I've, I've pushed away the trade skills in my life that I was brought up doing. And up until several years ago, I realized that I was actually good at it. And, and getting back into it and doing what I'm doing, people have told me that I have this eye, that I can, I can look at things and I can I have this uncanny ability to be able to figure it out. And when things are running really smooth in the shop, it's, it's really a zen moment because it's, it's a real nice flow. It's a really good day. You know, it really is. I'm, I'm going to be doing this until I'm an old man. <laughs>